So now that we have the information from this input field saved to the variable to add, we can display it right here. And we're going to be displaying it inside of a div with the class of list. So if you look in index.html, you'll notice that this div already exists, which is great. So to get the process started, we're going to target that div with the class of list. And we're going to be appending the information from the variable to add. <clears throat> but we're also going to be appending it in a new div that we're creating with the class of item. So you want to be very careful when copying that information because there's, you know, single quotes and double quotes and you don't want to mix those up. So let's give this a try. And it works. So that's it for this exercise. I'll see you at the next one. Make sure to subscribe.